Now let us see the mountains. In case of mountains, we see the plants and trees that are specially shaped. I told you that they have a shape of this particular kind. So why this kind? So when there is a heavy rainfall and snowfall, the snow should not stay on the branches of the tree. So they cannot breathe, they die. So the snow, whatever falls on the trees, it should get easily slides off. When it gets slides off, when the tree is having a slope. So that is the reason they have slopey branches like this. So when there is a heavy snowfall, even though the snow covers the tree, because of the little gentle wind, the snow easily sheds off because of the slope. So that kind of arrangement is seen in the plants or trees that are found in the mountains. Right. So whereas you see in case of animals that are found in the mountain, you see the yak. It has got a thick skin and a coat of fur. The animals that live in the cold mountain conditions, snow mountains, they have fur on their bodies. The fur is a very good insulator. It does not allow your body heat to escape. The fur gives protection to the animal. So we find the furry animals in the snowy places. Where there is snowfall, the climate is very cool. Even the soil on which they are walking is ice cold. So even their feet are covered by the fur. Right? So the fur of the animals, the fleece of the animals obtained from the mountain regions is used to make the woolen garments. So which keeps us warm. So we can write that yak and the snow leopard. Snow leopard. You see the snow leopard, snow leopard also having fur. Even its feet are covered by the fur so that it can walk in the snowy places. Right? And uh, we see mountain goat. So the mountain goat, it has got very strong hooves. Strong hooves. So by that it can climb the rocky mountains. So to climb the rocky mountains, it needs to have very strong hooves. So these hooves help the goat to climb the rocks. So that kind of adaptation is seen in the mountains. So there are a plenty of animals and plants that are found only a few are discussed here. Right? So the next thing we go to the grasslands. So now let us see the grasslands. When we talk about the grasslands here, we are talking about two animals, lion and deer. So always we like to watch the lion or tiger chasing the deer in the National Geographic channel. So there the hunting process goes on. It's a very natural process where a predator chases a prey. So prey, it always tries to escape from the predator to survive. The predator tries to catch the prey to get its food. It's a part of the chain, food chain that is found in the nature where a predator eats the prey. So here if you see the, these two animals and their adaptations, how these adaptations help these animals to survive in their particular habitat. What is the habitat? Grassland. So grassland, the name itself tells that there is a lot of grass. So the animals, mostly they are grass colored, light brown. So light brown is a dried grass, hay color, light brown color, lime or deer. So by that they can hide in the grass, they can escape. They can hide in the grass, the lion can hide in the grass. So here I am writing body color. It can hide in the grass and whenever the prey it comes, suddenly it can jump and attack. So for hunting purpose, the body color helps it. So the body color itself is an adaptation. And the next thing, the lion, it has got strong body. Strong body, sharp claws, which it can bring the sharp claws in its front legs, four legs. They have got very sharp claws, which it can draw from the toes. It can bring them out from the toes. So that is all an adaptation to catch the prey. And the lion, it has got eyes. The position of the eyes, they are 
in front of the face not on the sides so you see an animal like a cow goat deer they have eyes on their sides whereas the lion tiger they have eyes in front of their face because they need to target the prey the prey is running so the animals the predators focus is to be at the prey then only it can catch so for a focused vision these predators they have eyes positioned in front of the face in front of the face so that is the adaptation that is found in the lion they have a sharp teeth so by that they can tear the flesh they can bite they are very strong so by that they can pull very big animal they can drag the animal all these are the body features that help the lions to hunt whereas the deer the deer it has got a light body so by that it can run so fast light body the deer has got long ears long ears so by the long ears so by the big ears it can hear each and every sound about its death the predator that comes up to eat it so it can sense the danger when it has got a very good sense of hearing it can sense the sounds it can estimate from which direction the animal is going to attack very thin legs so by that it can jump over the huddles it can jump over the branches and logs and rocks by that it can escape thin legs light body and it has got eyes on sides of its head eyes position so by that in 360 degrees it can sense the danger it can see the danger so it has got its features to protect itself escape from the enemy escape from the predator the predator itself has got the features to catch the prey so in the nature the creatures they have got their own special features right so that the point is that which one is going to make the living over here if it is a natural setup without any human intervention the nature is very well balanced the ecosystem is very well balanced very well maintained the number of tigers the number of deer the number of elephants the number of bears everything is maintained so well nothing goes to extinction unless under drastic changes happens in the environment but because of the human intervention we are causing and creating a lot of disturbance in the ecosystem by disturbing the food chains and food webs right so here all the creatures they have the special features to adapt to live in a particular climate so we have seen the terrestrial habitats in this we can observe the different animals they have different features so having a special feature to live in a particular habitat is called as adaptation so animals they developed these special features in a particular habitat over a very long period of time it it doesn't it didn't happen in one or two days over a long period of time they started developing these special features to live in that so the organisms which could not develop the special features they become extinct or died which could able to develop the special features they are existing right so after completing this terrestrial habitats let us move to the aquatic habitats if you like this video please give a thumbs up please subscribe to our channel to get more videos on cbse syllabus